Hi, I'm Pete from Players Academy and today I'm going to show you some chords that you can play anywhere on the guitar. So when we're playing chords in the open position, the way we change chord is to change the shape we're making with our fingers. What I want to show you today are some simple chord shapes that we can play anywhere on the fretboard to give us different chords. The great thing about this is if we want to play a chord that we don't know the shape for, or a chord that we can't play open like one of the sharps or flats, then we only need to be able to find that note on one of the bottom two strings to be able to play it. So the first shape I'm going to show you is called a five chord or a power chord. This is a really simple chord that is super useful, turns up in lots of rock music. I'm going to start with a G5, so first we need to put our first finger down on the low E at the third fret. Then we're going to put our ring finger on the A string at the fifth fret and our little finger on the D string at the fifth fret. Then we're just going to play those bottom three strings, the ones that we fretted notes on. Now you can use this chord in place of a major or a minor chord for a punchier sound uh, and we can move it to any note on the E or the A string. Uh, you've probably heard it used in ways like this. You're probably familiar with the open position E major chord. Um, if not, uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, we're going to learn how to turn this chord into a movable shape. So firstly what we need to do is to swap our fingers around. Um, so our ring finger is going to fret the A string at the second fret. Our little finger is going to fret the um, D string at the second fret. And our, ring, and our middle finger is going to fret the G string at the first fret. What that means is then, once we've done that, then we can slide the chord up and lay our first front finger across all the strings so it acts like a capo and gives us what's called a bar. So this chord can move up and down the fretboard and always give you the major chord based on the note you're playing on the, note you're playing on the low E string. Now getting a clear, clean bar sound takes a little bit of strength and practice, so if you can't do it straight away don't be too disheartened. One little cheat lots of musicians use is to miss off the low note and play the chord like this. Um, this is also really useful if you're playing in a group with a bass or a piano that's doing the low part. You don't want to muddy up the sound. You'll often also see blues and folk musicians, they'll use this shape and they'll pull, hook their thumb over to play the bass note that way. So you don't have to make the big, the straight bar. So the final shape I'm going to show you works on the same idea, but instead of moving the open E shape, we're going to move the open A major. Just like last time, we're going to play it with these three fingers. Uh, so we keep our first finger free. Then we can move it up and lay that finger across the strings. I find this, I've got, because I've got fat fingers, I find this quite fiddly to do. So I tend to bar, use this little finger to bar two notes. This gives us any chord with the root note, that's the, the chord name, on the A string. So what use are all these chords, I hear you ask? Well, as we already touched on, they allow you to play chords like F or B or C sharp that just don't exist in open shapes without putting a capo on. Uh, you might find you're playing a song that's got the same chords going all the way through in a four chord loop or something, um, but you'll 
want the choruses to sound different from the verses. So this gives you options to play the same thing more than one, one way. Also, you might find you're playing with another guitarist and don't want to do the same thing they are. Uh, so you might want to play the same chord progression uh, further up the neck. 